Hey guys, it's Sahara. So this is a request from a viewer called Heart in Heaven. And she wants me to do a pick a card called, Is It Platonic or Romantic? And I thought, that's actually a really great idea. So I've got six cards lined up for you guys. Think of the person that you have in mind and then pick a number that really, really calls to you. The one that really catches your eye. Um, pause the video if you need more time, but I am jumping right into the readings. All right, so if you chose number one, let's see if their feelings are platonic or romantic. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I would say romantic, but very lightly so, very lightly not strong romantic feelings. So the Wheel of Fortune describes someone who has inconsistent mixed feelings toward you. So one day they're totally feeling you, like maybe they're engaging in a conversation with you. They're like, okay, this person's pretty cool. And, but the next minute, you know, um, they're not talking to you and they kind of forget you, you know, they're not really thinking about you. Um, so this is someone who one day they're into you and the next minute they're not, you know, they're not really sure how they feel toward you and what they want. Or there is certainty, but the certainty is that they have mixed feelings toward you, okay? So this is someone whose feelings for you, um, they're very unstable and very unpredictable, changes every other day. Um, they can't really define their feelings for you. So if I absolutely had to choose between romantic and platonic, I would pick romantic. But if I wanted to be rebellious and not play by the rules, I would say it's a mix of romantic and platonic because their feelings are very much up and down. Okay. Moving on to number two. Let's see if this person's feelings is Platonic or romantic? Ooh, so we have the Ten of Cups. So, a resounding yes. This person has romantic feelings toward you. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They indisputably have feelings for you. But since it is a Ten of Cups, this person's vision of you is very idealistic. Um... They almost have this like fairy tale vision of how things would be if they were with you, but their fantasies are kind of far from reality, kind of um, Disney ish, kind of uh, fairy tale ish. So, this person has extremely high expectations of you and how things would transpire if you were together. If you're already with this person, this is great because this person feels as if you're the jelly to their peanut butter. But again, you know, they have super high expectations for the future which may cause some disillusionment down the line. But still, you know, this person definitely, definitely, without question, has romantic feelings toward you. Um, even if they are in, in, in a relationship with someone else or you're not talking to this person anymore, this person does envision, like, wow, you know, things would be great if we were together, I feel. Okay. Moving on to number three, let's see if this person has romantic or platonic feelings toward you. Hmm, justice. So, with justice, I'm going to go with my intuition and say that this person's romantic feelings toward you has turned into resentment and spitefulness. So, the justice card is all about getting even with someone. So if someone does something nice to you, you feel compelled to do something nice. But if someone has wronged you, you feel compelled to get them back and get even with them. So maybe feelings were there at one point. Um, but I'm getting as if this person's feelings has turned into spitefulness and vengefulness toward you. So this person, let's say if you aren't, talking to this person right now and if you were to come into this person's life they will be nice to you only for the sake of trying to get back to back to you or trying to get back at you like okay I'm gonna pretend like I'm nice and or whatever 
and then I'm just gonna turn around and do the same thing that she did to me. So that type of thing. Um, um, so if they had the opportunity to get revenge on you or make you feel the way they feel you made them feel, they would, okay? So I would say romantic feelings, but they've turned into resentment and vengefulness. If the revengeful um, feelings don't really resonate with you, then I would say this is strictly platonic because this is someone who just wants to treat you fairly and do right by you, you know, especially if you haven't done anything wrong to them. So they just want to treat you how you deserve to be treated, you know, if you're their coworker or friend. But I wouldn't say that they want anything more or less than that. All right, moving on to number four. Let's see if this person has romantic or platonic feelings for you. Okay, so we have the three of wands. So this person is secretly waiting for you to come back to them. This is a very um, anticipatory, is that a word? <laughs> but this person, this person's anticipating your return. Um, so if this is someone from your past, even if they're in a relationship right now or they're married, this person is someone who deep down inside wants you to be a part of their life again. And they definitely have romantic feelings toward you. Um, it, it's as if like they're waiting for your text or they're waiting for your Facebook message. Um, they kind of have this longingness for you. Now, if this is someone you're with now, I'd still say it's romantic because they're kind of looking over the horizon and looking to see how they can plan out their future with you. Okay, so definitely romantic. All right, moving on to number five. Let's see if this person has romantic or platonic feelings toward you. So we have the Ace of Cups, Ooh, so this is the type of card that will pop up for someone new in your life and you get those butterflies in your stomach before you meet them because they just make you really, really happy or really, really excited and really, really nervous. Um, and if this is someone you're in a relationship with, even better because the Ace of Cups is about new love. So this person may feel just as giddy about you as they did when they first met you. You know, they, they still make them a little nervous. Um, there is a caveat with the Ace of Cups, though. So the Ace of Cups is about an overflow of emotions, but you don't really know exactly what those emotions are. You know, aside from love, they can be anger. It can be sadness. It can be frustration, you know, because love isn't all rainbows and leprechauns. And if this person, but if this person were stoic and indifferent toward you, then it wouldn't be love to begin with. You know what I mean? So yeah, so being that there's a lot of emotions involved here, whether it's love or frustration or nerves or sadness, um, there is definitely some romantic feelings um, emanating from this card. All right, moving on to number six. Let's see if this person feels romantic or platonic toward you. Ooh, dun dun dun. So we have the five of swords. So. I wouldn't choose romantic or platonic, to be honest. If there's a category for this person is a player, then I would choose that one. So players don't really have a desire for romance. They kind of just want to have the upper hand in their situation. So they can turn around and say, haha, I win. You know, I have the upper hand. You don't. So this is someone who wants to show you that they care less than you or that they put less effort into the relationship than you. Um, so this person just gets a kick out of knowing that they have the advantage in the situation. Um, and they would rather feel like the winner, or they would rather feel like they have the upper hand than actually caring to keep the relationship intact with you. Like there, there is, they would rather be on their own way of seeing themselves on a pedestal they would rather get the medal than actually humbling themselves and um, putting effort into the relationship and putting themselves in a vulnerable position where they might lose or they might um, get hurt. They don't want to put themselves in that situation, so they always need to have the upper hand. So 
this is someone who uh, would rather do the whole, I'm going to hurt you before you ever get the chance to hurt me type thing. So, yeah, um, neither romantic or platonic, just self-interested and kind of wants to have the upper hand. You know, you might think that this person might want something more, but it's really more of a, I need to have the longer end of the stick in the situation, and she needs to have the short end of the stick. Okay, so yeah, and that's it. So if you like this type of content, let me know by liking, subscribing, and commenting.